Hi everybody, it's Danny Bader here, and I just thought I'd drop in with a little message about this coronavirus situation that we're all dealing with. I'm sure everybody's nervous and scared in many, many different ways. You know, yesterday on Sunday, it was the National Day of Prayer, which had me thinking. Um, you know, prayer is defined as a solemn request for help or an expression of gratitude. And uh, I know yesterday I, I did both of those, right? Uh, a request to kind of help us keep us all safe and have this situation um, resolve itself with the help of all of our leaders and our health care people, you know, as quickly as possible. That's what we all want. Until then, I think it's real important that we do what they say we should do to minimize the risk for everybody. Um, but it was interesting yesterday on the National Day of Prayer, I thought about that. And um, I did some research recently as I was developing a new online course called Back to Life. And in that, people, I saw some surveys people, or questionnaires, people were asked whether or not they believed in God. And typically about 50 to 60% said yes. And I'm like, wow, 50 to 60%, that seems low. But here's the interesting thing. About another 30%, so up around 80 or 90% now, people said, we believe, we don't call it God, but we, we believe in some bigger spiritual source, some universal energy you know, that, that we talked to. And I thought that was interesting because another definition of prayer is just simply to communicate with God. So I would encourage you all as we move through this difficult time right now to, to think about not just having that national day of prayer yesterday, but to pray every day and simply to communicate with God or, or your, your source of worship, right? Whatever you might call that. Because if we, if we have that God or we have that source of worship, and it, it, it gives us strength and it gives us not hope. I don't want to deal in hope. I want to deal in trust, right? We have to trust that we're going to move through this and, and everything is going to be back to normal and we will be resilient, right? Resilience, the definition of resilience is the ability for one to move through difficult times and challenges. We all need to be resilient. That's what I write about. That's what I, so I, I'm not an expert by any stretch of means in, in coronavirus or any, any of that medical virus thing. But I got a lot of experience on resilience, the ability to move through some of the, the tough stuff that we get in life, and we're getting it right now. So the one thing I would offer for you is make, make every day a day of prayer, just not on Sunday, and watch to your, your opening line. You know, those of you that know my story, I literally came back to life, right? I died, I was out, and I came back to life. But what you might want to consider is that, that every day you open your eyes, your feet hit the floor, if you're blessed with those two, faculties of health and you're back to life. So when we do come back to life out of that transition of sleep, as soon as we do, we have an opening line. And, and you've heard before the opening lines of movies. I know when, and when I write my books, it's so key to get that opening line down because it kind of sets the stage. It's kind of the hook, so to speak. So I would encourage you tomorrow, what's your opening line when you wake up? Is it worry and fear about all this? Or is it trusting that you have the ability to move through this? And to do that, you're going to have to seek some support. And I know, I know that one of the best ways to seek support is to prayer, is to pray and communicate with God and let that little source of energy that's inside of all of us connected to that bigger source, let, let that be our strength and let that be our, our resilience as we move through this difficult time. So I wish you all the best. See you again soon.